Babe. Yeah, babe. Um, I was thinking. Okay. Isn't it better you just take the job? I don't think hundred k is a bad idea for a start. With that, you'll be able to complement what I'm earning. No, babe. It's not a good idea. Okay. I can't take that. <laughs> I rather prefer going into business. Babe, entrepreneurship is good, but it is a tough one. One needs a high level of financial discipline to be able to succeed as an entrepreneur. That is why I think you should work for a while and gather all the necessary experiences and equip yourself with the right management experiences. How are you listening to yourself? Hmm? You earn 250,000 naira and yet life is not easy. So how do you think 100,000 naira would do anything for me? Babe. At least you'll be able to be going out of the house every day. Remember, an idol's mind is a devil's workshop. I am not idle. Okay? I stress myself every day to make sure that I do things that make our lives better. Yes. You always say that. And I need you to please believe in the results that I am going to bring. Amen. Good. I expected to say that. Yeah. Can you say that again for me? Amen. Amen. Good. Come here. Come here. <sighs> Look. <sighs> I need you to believe in me. Okay? Yeah. I'm doing everything humanly possible to make sure that you and I are okay. Mm. Is that fine? Yes, babe. It's, it's fine. It's no, okay. more, no more complaints. <laughs> Just accept to be my girlfriend and I will take care of you. <laughs> Playboy. <laughs> you can say that again. You talk like every one of your likes. Mm. No. <laughs> Not really. I am I am generous. I yeah, I I love to take care of women. You do? I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Listen, Nat. Mm. Women are not commodity. You can buy with money. Okay? Uh, perhaps, uh, how much do you know of how to take care of a woman? A lot, baby. A lot. Look, <laughs> no woman meets me and wants to, and wants to go. Because they know what I am worth. I, 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 I'm a giver. <laughs> Yet you're single. <laughs> how come no woman has had you for keeps? You won't understand her. Don't. <laughs> you want to understand? But trust me, it is you that I want, you know. Please, <laughs> I've don't. Been, I've been waiting for you. Stop it. Don't. Don't try that. With, with you, I am taken for... What is it? Hold on. Hold 
I wear you to go. But I pray so you did go. And I'm, I don't say you say life like JJ. What is this? Make you not go in this your young beautiful life because of a man, madam. Patricia, now get I out. I will blast your brain on the floor. The madam, I beg. No, I will go in there and I will teach him a lesson that he will never forget in a hurry. Now stay clear! Madam, please. What him? You know what I'm. Um, you know what I'm. Um, if you give me that way till you go take on say I do you, Madam, I beg. Patricia. Madam, I beg and I beg. Don't be sad they force you. He will come kill me now. Wait till you go take on say I do you. I've had enough in this marriage. Now what is all this? I've had enough. Mother. I think I will go in there to teach Ulongo a lesson. Madam, wait. Wait, whoever is in there. Madam, I beg you, know what I am? What him and the stupid woman with the inside here? We agree, make it carry and come on top and other woman, but you know, they are big, call they do big. Madam, they know what I am. They be empty right now. They are praying they use China battery. Madam, I beg I'm just keeping quiet because you know, so, you know, suppose God waste your life on top of your mouth. What are you trying to do? Madam, I beg Are you trying to stop me? Madam, I You cannot. Now get out! Yes, oh no, go! Get the hell out of me! Oh no, go! Madam, my baby, I'm just keeping quiet because you know so. Won't you find a place to hide? You know so, go with you. That's my wife coming. And how is that my business? What do you mean, how is that your business? Do you want to ruin my marriage? How can you not understand that what we're doing is wrong and find a way to save me from this embarrassment? What embarrassment, Mr. Onogo? What embarrassment. She's a fellow woman like me. And if she had kept her home well, I wouldn't have found an opening to come in through. Oh, stop it, Divi. Just stop it. What are you talking about? I already told you I was married. But you never told me that you were trying to set me up for your wife to come and embarrass me. What do you mean, set you up? I never knew she was going to come back at this time. I thought she had traveled. That is the business between both of you. Because I am not going to hide anywhere. And I'm also not going to be guilt tripped by my fellow woman. She is not your fellow woman. She is my wife. My lawfully wedded wife. You are an intruder. You call me an intruder? Yes, that's exactly what you are. This is my matrimonial home. And I'm not going to allow you to mess it up for me. Look, Divi. I don't know what you're up to, but this is my matrimonial home. Let's put heads together and find a way of getting out of this. My wife can be crazy. She might even act dangerously. I'm just, I'm just warning you in advance. <sighs> I am also not a very gentle woman. So I will advise you let us handle this as ladies. What are you talking about, Divi? Handle what? With my wife? You must be out of your senses. I am not out of my senses, Mr. Onugo. I am not. Listen and listen good. When a man opens himself up to the love of two women, he must learn how to work on Tony mods. Oh, now I understand. I see. Now I understand. This is why you insisted that we should come to the house instead of going to a hotel. I was barely trying to be a good friend. Yes. I didn't want you spending money booking hotels. You know where we can just use your house. And you didn't mind that my wife could catch us red-handed? <laughs> catch us? What are you talking about? Are we committing any crime? We are lovers. And love is not a crime. And if love is a crime, then I'm very glad to be committing it with you over and over again. And if she were well-mannered, she should have simply locked herself out instead of disrupting our fun. David, please. Unugo, 
plead not with me. Madam, I beg. Let me be Patricia. Madam, I'm warning you right now. Patricia. Madam, I Let go of me. Madam, please. I don't go. Madam. Now, what is this, Patricia? What are you trying to do? Are you encouraging Unonga's lifestyle? Is that what you're doing? Now you are covering him up, right? Madam, don't be like that. Madam, don't think I'm like that. I know say you're the best. A lot of things they come your mind. Madam, don't think I'm like that. They won't even think I'm. Now you are the only cover for Madam. I think I'll beg you, don't go. Now you Madam, leave me. Don't go. Now leave me. I'm entering there. Madam, please. Stand the hell away from me. What is Madam, wrong with you, Patricia? Madam, please. He's indeed an ungrateful yes. man. You don't know what I'm passing through. You are a fellow woman, right? You don't know what I'm passing through in this man's hand. I will go in there and blast their brain. He is so ungrateful. After everything I've done for this man, I've been more than the world loyal to him. And he's paying me back like this. Madam, you're not going to be conspiracy to you, but go, go destroy your own man. Madam, I beg, forgive them, leave them. Now God, I go judge them, Madam, I beg. God, go judge them? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, you are indeed a mad woman. Madam, I'd rather please. die than allow that idiot in that place to live in. What? If you go there, go finish them up now. Police go, go carry you now, kiri kiri straight. Now go take care of your children, Madam, really? I beg. Now let me be. Madam, I beg. Wait! Madam, I beg. Now you listen to me. Let me educate you. Police cannot do me anything. Never. They will never judge this case as a murder case. What they will judge it is self-defense. After all, I came back to my matrimonial home and I met an intruder. What do you expect? I shot her dead. And that's it. Now clear. Is that what you're telling me? You are indeed a mad woman. I'd rather die than allow that idiot in that place to live in. What if you go there, go finish them up now. Police go, go carry you now, kiri kiri straight. You came here with a gun? I go around prepared all the time. You came here to have sex for Christ's sake. What does a gun have to do with making love? Love making can go violent. Like it has gone now. And it is my duty to prepare to defend myself. And of course my man. Divi, there's something you're not telling me. Can you just put that gun back in your bag and let's find a way of getting out of this place? I am not moving an inch from this place. And I'm not going to keep any gun away. I'm definitely going to give Mark what she deserves. She deserves nothing but respect. <laughs> this is her matrimonial home. Well, thankfully, I did not come to Mark's matrimonial home. I came to my boyfriend's house. Oh, come now, Divi, you must be joking. I always told you I was married. I never hid it from you. But you never told me that you were happily married. And it is my business to protect you and give you that elusive peace of mind. Divi, this is not the time to play this kind of dangerous trick, all right? Mag is armed. And she can be very dangerous when she's angry. I am more dangerous when I'm protecting my man. The love of my life. <sighs> what did I just get myself into? Divi, please save me. All right? We can talk this over later. <laughs> you know, from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence they carried by force. So I'm not going to leave my man because another person lay claims to it. Divi, she's not laying any claim to me. All right? I am her rightfully married husband. The law sees you as an intruder. But that is not what your heart sees me as. The greatest law for me is written in your heart and mine. And if Mag had any iota of love for you, she wouldn't come here with a gun to shoot you. Unongo, it's nothing but an ungrateful bastard. 
after all that I did for him, you're a fellow woman, right? You know what I'm, you know, do you understand me? You know what I'm saying is, I have been more than the world loyal to him, and he is paying me back this way, and you have the nerves to wage me, to stand before me Madame. begging for Onungo. For what? Madam, not think up like that. You know that because of what you will perceive, do you go destroy your own life? Madam, I beg you go. Now go and I go judge them. Patricia, God go judge them? Is that what you're saying? You should be ashamed of yourself telling me this. Now I know indeed you are a mad person. Now get the hell away from me. I'm going to blast your brain. I give you the count of three. One, two, three. Now get the hell out of me. Get out. You might have picked a gun from somewhere or got it from some gun runners. But I can assure you that I am licensed to carry guns and I'm also licensed to kill. So any attempt to fire a single shot, I'll make sure you are dead before the trigger plays. So you have the temerity to defy my matrimonial bait and still stand up to me? You know me, Mag, so do not continue to deceive yourself. You are nothing but a whore. I do not know you. I don't wish to know you. I have no reason whatsoever to know you. <laughs> but you listen to me, you idiot. Leave my house, else I will repaint my words with your brain. <laughs> Mac, you know me. This is the day that I told you about. And you are welcome to it. So you better drop this toy gun of yours and let's have a heart to heart talk. Drop it. I will never drop this gun. Say whatever thing you will have to say. Fine. I am going to have mine at the ready. What is going on here? Why not ask your wife? Mac, this is the day of reckoning. So do not pretend not to know that the day that I told you about is here with us. Divi, stop. Can you just listen to me for once and stop? This lady is my wife. Not a rival of some sort. Look, we were just having fun. I didn't promise you marriage. Oh, shut up, you lousy silly man. You're being used and that's because you're not smart. You're not happy, but you choose to remain in this bondage for the fear of what the world will say. Enough, Divi. Enough. Just pick up your bag and leave my house right now. <laughs> Let me resolve issues with my wife. Your wife? Thankfully, I did not come here for you, Mr. Unungo. I came here for Mag, and I'm happy that I got her. What in the world are you talking about? Mag, what the hell is she talking about? Do you know her from anywhere? Oh, just shut the fuck up! You have done your worst. Patricia? Yes, ma'am. You know, we would have gone to the bigger market. Yeah, but because it's drizzling, why don't you go to the supermarket and get okay. the things we need for the house? Okay, ma'am. All right? So while I quickly rush up to somewhere to get, you know, things for my personal use. Hmm. Madam Meg. Madam Meg, you the only rush. Go somewhere or go get your own personal stuff for your personal use. You know, go ever remember me or me, Patricia, your sister wife? I beg your pardon? Assistant what? Wife? Is that a joke? You better drop it, it's too expensive. Madam Meg, <laughs> a joke I do, no be say I take her serious. I know it's an expensive joke, B O. <laughs> this is how they talk. Now maybe assistant wife for also. I see they go pick your own things for your own personal stuff. Madam, you go good make you buy some for me now. Maybe my user a whole body. Make everything for good, madam. I'm sure you know me too well. Sorry, ma. I don't crack jokes that much. Sorry, ma. So you better keep quiet. Now go to the supermarket. 
get the things we need for the house. Once you are done, call me to come and pick you up. No, Allah. Madam, I go do as you take to come. Mm, I no go miss one. <laughs> it go good make you no know, forget. Still collect some things for me. For my own personal use. My madam. Now get out. Sorry, ma. Madam, na joke. Get I out. Do. Person of it play with you. Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. This is my madam. Na so so wala she go they give me for this house. Eh, between me and her, I no call no who be wife. Na na me go cook. Na me go wash husband clothes. The, the only thing she's a bit say, maybe she just entered the other room, go and enjoy herself. Eh? Which I woman be this? <coughs> do you even they say very soon? She feel even say make a help her. Go do that one for the other room. <laughs> but now I go sit with her. I go do her. <laughs> what is she really thinking about? I be your assistant wife. I mean, what does she mean by that? Are you sure Unongo doesn't sleep with her? No, 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 no. Unongo can't stoop so low sleeping with a cook. But I will really have to be more careful. She is becoming too disrespectful. <laughs> You know, I am not afraid of anyone. You make life easier for me. And I am very happy. Look, it, it doesn't matter what anyone else says, okay? I love you. Mm -hmm. I'm so encouraged by your love. And loyalty. You know, not everyone will be this kind and loyal, just like the way you are. Thank you, Ma. Excuse you? Come on. Why, Ma? I'm called Meg. Better still, give me an a sweet Sexy name. I'm sorry. I wanted to call you Meg, but I think I prefer Sweet Meg. <laughs> That's nice. I'm going to love you as long as it takes. I mean, it doesn't matter what any other person thinks, you know, out there. It doesn't make any sense. What matters is that you and I are in love with each other. And trust me, I will never give you any reason to regret and invest in, in my dreams and holding me in your arms. <laughs> Cheers. <clears throat> You're so beautiful. Ah. Why this? I feel you're flattering me. No, no, you don't. No, come on, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. What it be this now? She know they even pick her call. Which kind of woman be this? Eh? She keep me waiting now. Go enjoy herself. Eh? What it be this? I not even go get money now. What it I go take her time to go house? Mm. I know what I go do. Make I call Oga. Eh, but wait, oh. If I call Oga now, while I go there, oh. Oga go ask me, eh, madam, go, oh, this woman, no, they even pity herself. She don't they give herself peace. Eh? I want to take you now. If she don't tire for this marriage, maybe she could come and tell me now, make her apply. Which kind of person be this? Oh, see, Lord, now I want to pack up. Let your conscience be a guide when doing wrong and doing right. Yeah, yeah. Just so for me, just so for me now she go and try herself. Just so for me.
for doing the right thing. Leave me alive the way you want. Tell me how you gonna explain this. Why everybody has a young flash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool and very how we used to be, loving each other. But now everything is a refrain. I just know that love you promised me. Patricia. Patricia! Where is your madam? Patricia asked you a question. Where is Margaret, your madam? Don't just stand there staring at me as if you're deaf and dumb. Um, okay. I, I, I don't know where she go. What exactly are you saying? You don't know where she went to or when she left the house. Uh, okay. I, I be know when she go, but I don't know where she go. Just just get away from me. Patricia, come, 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 come. What are you preparing? Soup and stew, sir. Soup and stew? Yes, sir. So do I have to wait for you to finish before I have my dinner? No, okay. Madam Bindon cook your food kid before she waka come out. Then what are you waiting for? Serve it. I'm hungry. Okay, okay. Hurry up. Okay. Hurry up. Okay. Take it away, take it away. Take the water away. Okay, okay. And hurry up. recently come over you. I don't know. Sorry, baby. No, my husband will be worried about me. My cook! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Do well at all, believe I, I, me. I'm sorry. She must be stranded now. I'm now, sorry. What is this? I'm sorry. You know, I... I didn't want to wake you, so they wouldn't know you were tipsy, you know. I'm sorry. Now, look at you. It's now worse. But you can cook up a good story. 
you know. <laughs> but trust me, oh, I had mad fun. I enjoyed everything, baby. <laughs> I hate you. But you know you're very sweet. Mm. No, I cannot even put on everything. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Are you leaving? Yes, I have to. All right, you don't need to bother about anything. Okay? okay, I have settled the boat and that's it. Oh gosh, I won't be able to wear this now. But baby, come on, I, I need some money. Yes. You should know that things are tough now and it's almost impossible for me to get enough money from that man. But I need it desperately. Come on. Please. Hmm? Hmm? Please. All right. Of course I know, Sally. Which is why I'm doing everything for you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know. I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. I, don't know. I, I, I can equally back you and take, take you to the car. <laughs> no, you're crazy. You know that, right? Uh, am I? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just, just cook up some of the stories. You know? Oh, just shut up. <laughs> I love you. Babe, I love you. Get out. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <laughs> wow. Nat. DV, it's Nat. Take his call. I wouldn't make it easy for him. I have been calling him now for the past six hours. And he has not picked any of my calls. So why should I pick his? He could be in some kind of trouble. Probably busy. Now he's calling. Take his call and hear what he has to say. Oh, babe. I'm very sorry, okay? I've been very busy at work. You're sorry? You're always sorry yet keep repeating the same thing all the time? You can't even believe that I'm still at work by this time. Not. You're playing with my emotions. You should rather tell me you're tired of me than treating me like a piece of rag. Get me the file, get me the files, get me the files. I'm still in the office. Nat, that is a lie. That is a lie and you know it. I checked on you and you were neither in the office nor anywhere near your house. No, 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 no. I, I told them, I told them not to let anybody in because I wanted to you know, concentrate. That's all. Nat, I don't believe you, Nat. I don't, and you know it. Wait, you're taking me for a fool just because I, I love you? You're taking me for a fool because I love you? You're taking me for a fool? No, I don't believe you and you know it! I don't! Oh. DV, you don't need to cry for a man. I'm not crying for a man. I'm crying for the person that I love. But he is a man. Not the way that you described him. I love Nat like a father. Like a brother. Like a friend. And if he wasn't a man, I would have still loved him the same way. <laughs> to the one whom we love with all our hearts. <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> but to the one who tramples on our feelings and make us feel that loving is stupid. To hell. <laughs> That's beautiful. <sighs> the smile. Yes. You know, nothing heals then. Be strong when you expect it to be down. That's very correct. <sighs> you know, just pick the pieces of your life together and move on. There are a lot of responsible men out there who are dying to have you. Mm? <laughs> yes. Come here. Women, they are like riddles, you know. You solve them, or you get confused about them. <sighs> She's a very lovely girl. Very lovely, but... <laughs> a man has to be a man, you know. She can't give me what Meg gives me. No. It is what it is. <laughs> Who are going to call now? This hotel being no supposed waste. <laughs> oh. Olivia. You see, I loved Nat. I loved him for a million reasons that I couldn't explain. We were quite young when we started dating. And I thought that I was going to build something with him. I gave him my virginity. I gave him everything that I own. We shared everything together. Many times before that night, I had cried myself to sleep because of the man that I loved. But that night, I took a decision that I was going to make something out of my life. But before then, I was so eager to know the woman whom he shared me with. TV, I love you. Okay. I know where you're coming from. But trust me, I will not let you down. You're really letting me down, Nat. Yes, you're already letting me down. You make me feel so stupid among my friends just because I love you. What? What am I doing so wrong that is making you treat me this way? Why don't you believe me? No, tell me. Why don't you believe me? Why do you find pleasure in making me look like a liar? I am faithful to you. I am not cheating on you with anyone. You're a liar, Nat. You're a liar. You're an incorrigible liar. You have no shame, no regrets, no conscience whatsoever. I have shown you nothing but love and loyalty, and yet you choose to treat me this way. I... I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Whatever it is, please forgive me. I'm sorry, and I'm, I mean every word of it. Please. <laughs> The problem is, I don't know how to move on. But I, I should move on. No. I should move on from you. No, 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 no. no, no. I should move on. No, no, baby, baby, don't, don't, don't say that. Come on, you know, I hate to see you cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Linda. Yeah? I wonder why Divi asked us if Nat is the only man in this world. Come to think of it, I wonder what is so special about that guy. And she cries her eyes out every day while the guy goes about living his life as if she does not even exist. Not quite so. I think the boy actually loves her too, but she's not enough for him. Linda. 
a woman is never enough for a promiscuous man. True. So it's either she accepts that she can never be enough for him, or leave him and go and find a perfect man for her. <laughs> then that means she has to go to heaven to look for that Mr. Perfect, because on this earth, there is no Mr. Perfect. I disagree with you. Okay then, show me one Mr. Perfect. There you go. There is actually none. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Give up. Yeah, you have to give up. Hey, how are you? Were you able to get something? Oh, yeah. Okay, here. Look at this. I told you. <laughs> what? What is Nat doing with an old woman that isn't old enough to be his mother? Many things. It could be money. It could be peace of mind or understanding. You know, older people give peace of mind. Not like you, younger generation. You see? Jude, <laughs> I give Nat peace of mind. I don't nag him. I only complain about his infidelity. So... Anyway, as you can see, I'm done. I've done my job. So, or do you need any other thing? Eh? Oh. I got you. Ah. Uh. Okay, so what about this? Shoot! No, calm down. <coughs> Listen, my dear. Something is bringing Nat closer to that old woman. And you have to break it. You have to kill that woman or you make her know that you can kill her. Two options. You know I can't kill anyone. Not even because of a man. You can threaten her. Let her know that you mean business. Jude, she can get me arrested for oh, possessing a gun illegally. You love thinking through a whole lot of things. So why then you didn't think about it before falling in love with Nat, my friend? Come on, what are you doing? Nat is, Nat is not that bad. Okay. It was just that old woman that deceived him. Really? A man cannot be deceived into love. We know what to do and why we do them. Okay? You can't be, you can't be too sure. My dear Elias, I have given you options. You see? <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> you, see, you, see, don't wait now. you know, if now that old woman now, you will know how to put it in. <laughs> My guy, calm down. But anyways, you know that um I don't really know what got you attracted to that woman. You know? You are my guy. That woman is old enough to be your mother. Look, I <laughs> own my life. Okay. And you cannot tell me how to live my own life. That is a point. How to live your own life. Do you really think about people that get affected with the things you do with your own life? Look, I do not owe anybody any explanation on how to live my life. <sighs> okay. Okay? Devi is worried. That lady is worried about you. I mean, I don't even know how she she accepted broke house guy like you. <laughs> you know you are my guy. You don't talk to me in such manner. Okay. You hear me? <laughs> I love TV. And I've not told you I don't love her. Okay, but I need to do my thing. 
Oh, you talk about love? Then you should, you should consider it. You should consider her as well. Right? Nobody can give me what that woman gives to me. Okay. Listen to me. The money, the peace, you oh. or Divi or anybody cannot give it to me. Yeah, I know. It's money. Is it not money? Then what about peace? Do you think about future? Can you build a future with that old woman? Look, we cannot talk about the future if we have not taken care of the oh, present. Oh, come on, Nat. I want you to understand that. My guy. It's okay. It's fine. Can we talk about something else? Oh, we can. Of course, we can still play again. Let me win you. Let me win you again. Get it. Pick the balls. Take this one. Let's roll. I never knew I was living with a promiscuous woman under the same roof. You've been giving my money, my hard-earned money to that good-for-nothing lad. You shouldn't even order a word. Umango. I merely cheated back on you. Look at you. You were nothing but a chronic cheat. You merely cheated back on me. You're proud to say that you merely cheated back on me? Yes! Yes! You. Let me remind you. You have been the most irresponsible, unfaithful, and shameless man since the day I got married to you. Look at you. How many times did you return home with a name to thank? Hmm? You cannot even make love to me anymore. Why? Because you have dispensed all your passion outside with younger women. Not a question is what makes you think that you are the only man who gets attracted to younger women? What makes you think that I'm your wife? Take a look at me very well. Am I not beautiful? I ask you, what makes you think that I, your wife, you left at home to rust while you gallivant the whole city with younger girls? What makes you feel that I do not have feelings? Oh, what do you thank me for? A log of food. I cannot have feelings anymore for younger men, right? Is that it? And you think the person to do all that with is my boyfriend? My nut with whom I dreamt dreams? My nut with whom I learned how to love? And even when I came to you, I'm please begging you to leave my boyfriend alone! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two wrong cannot make a right. Let your conscience be a guide when doing wrong and doing right. Yeah, Not. yeah, yeah. Why are you doing this? Why are you treating your girlfriend this way? Linda, I do not know what you're talking about. Okay? I am all good with Devi. You can't be. That girl is dying slowly. How has it become a crime to love so deeply and so truly? And I'm saying I have done nothing wrong to her. The greatest abuse is for a man to cheat on his woman and make it so obvious that he's cheating on her. Now you need to stop, okay? Linda, let me be. I am not cheating on her. She's just been unnecessary 
<laughs> suspicious and insecure. Yes. Wow. Insecure. Yes. I don't blame you. Look at you. Calling Divi insecure because she gave you her heart. I blame her. I blame her for not dumping your sorry acts where it actually belongs. Now you need to watch your talk. Do not be disrespectful to me. Who are you? You should know better than not to talk to a man that way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a man. <laughs> you. You are also a man. Hmm. A man is not a creature who has an overgrown skin dangling between his laps. Being a man comes with a responsibility. And it's high time you own up to yours and stop being stupid. Excuse Don't talk to me, me that way. To the wrong cannot make the right. Let your conscience be a guide. When doing wrong and doing right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When everybody has a own plan. Who could be banging on the door like that? That should be nuts. Has he run mad? He's angry. And so? Is there enough reason for him to knock that way? Linda, what do we do now? He might get violent. Violent? Yes. I will make him regret it. No, you won't do that. He's my boyfriend and you know it. Then tell that boyfriend of yours to respect himself. Linda, I know you're in there. Open this door now! Open this door! Lord, I'm, uh, I'm scared. I'm afraid. I managed to get his sugar mommy's number and I called her. Hey, and is that the reason why he came here to make noise? Linda! Hmm. You idiot! Why did you have to go make on the phone? Are, are you stupid? Not. I had to do what I had to do to protect our love. You are very stupid. Get off my way. Get out of here. Get off my way. To where? I said, get off my way. Oh, no. Please get out. <sighs> Congratulations are in order. At last, you wouldn't be wasting your time with such irresponsible gigolo. Sometimes, we love the wrong person for the right reasons. Spare me all that, Davy. There can never be a right reason to love the wrong person. Ever heard of wasteful emotions? That is what you've been doing with that irresponsible Haggard. It's good radiance to bad rubbish. I wish. Yes, you wish. Linda, I was not curated to lose. And fighting over a man? It's not something you should invest your young age doing. Especially when the man leaves you with no doubt to believe that he, he doesn't even deserve you. You see, uh, my dear, I don't even know what um, your friend Davy find enticing towards my friend. I mean, 
that guy doesn't have respect for her. Hmm. Maybe how he does work in the other room. <laughs> Is that reason enough for a woman to suffer torture in the hand of a guy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't fall. Hmm. People stay in relationship for so many reasons. And some of them they do not want to talk about. Oh, really? Yes. Because I don't know why my friend would choose to stay in a relationship like that. I don't know. Well, let's not go kill herself, shall we? Hmm. You, know, you ladies, when you guys are in love, you just you just put yourself and bury yourself in it. And moreover, I've been talking her out from it. Well, I'm diving my friend. Hmm. She loves differently and she feels less of a human if a man finds another woman attractive. Don't worry, <laughs> she won't kill herself. She'll be fine. Last, last. That's the truth. Oh, all right. But I believe she will come out of it. She will. But she should listen to me at least. Me, Is it not? I don't even know why she will stay in a relationship like that. In a, in a relationship like She's been toxic. She's been very, very toxic in the relationship. Just becoming less. <laughs> you know, you're my very good friend now. Let's not trust me. I'm going to make you wealthier and more successful. Okay? Once you achieve all, all that, then you'll be able to marry any girl of your dreams. Yeah. Listen, you don't need to marry that girl. She's nothing but a liability. And take a look at your background. It's not like you came from a wealthy home. You don't need such a person. Do you messed up? Yeah, I know. She she messed up big time. I'm telling you. You can imagine the way she called me on the phone to threaten me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm very sorry. You don't need to mention it's not your fault after all. The girl is not properly raised. Believe me, that's why I do not want you to have anything serious to do with that girl. Certainly, certainly. Trust me, I am done with Stevie. We are no longer insane. You know, it's time for me to leave her. Huh? Okay. Fine, thank you for coming by. And, um,. <laughs> You know, making me fulfill my dreams. I will not fail you, okay? I won't fail you either. Thank you. But TV, I don't know why you think this guy is what's the whole trouble. Well, I don't understand too. He's not the most handsome boy around. He's not intelligent. He's even broke. Yet he's irresponsible and a terrible cheat. You know, Linda, I would have been happy if Nat had walked up to me and told me it was all over. But it's so painful knowing that another woman is involved. I will go to the grave believing less in myself if I don't get even with that woman. Divi, that woman did you no wrong. If there is anyone you should hold anything against, then it should be not. That guy spent your money, wasted your time, and went after your mother's age mates. All because he's so lazy to work, yet he wants to live a good life. You're not correct to say that she did nothing wrong to me. She's the one who deceived Nat. 
Nat is not a child. <sighs> Nat provided me an escape from your abusers. You made me lose faith in my self-worth. And I began to doubt my beauty. And I began to doubt my womanhood. Most of the times, you cheated recklessly with younger girls. Most of the times, you returned home with evidence and signs written all over you. And you don't even care that you kept a wife at home. You were wicked. You never cared about my emotional health. Not even for a day. And my mental health was almost damaged because of your reckless infidelity. And you think the best way to get back at your cheating husband is by destroying the love and peace of another woman? Oh, enough! Stop this. Enough. I did not steal your peace. I did not kill your love. I went for a man who made me believe he was available. I went for a man who made me believe he was free to be taken. And I tried my luck. Boom! It clicked. And we became in love. No! You went for a vulnerable and an inexperienced young man. You bought him over with the little pittance you gave him from time to time. Of course, I knew I had no future with your man. All I wanted was just peace. I just wanted love. And at least good sex. You could have hung around and still kept your man. Mag, you are an incorrigible cheat. But I am not. Maybe I was just a child. But I know better not to expect to have a man entirely to myself. But the wound you inflicted on me has not healed. You know, I have, I have tried to move on. But it is not easy. Do you think you can arrange for us to see, so we can sort things out? <laughs> sort things out? You mean you want to sort things out with Nat? That guy? Oh, come on. You should be out of your senses. I am not. Come on. But I feel used leaving him on his own terms. <laughs> you know, I'm a very proud girl. I prefer to jute a man than for a man to jute me. It's even worse for the same man to leave me for another woman. It affects my self-esteem. My dear, <clears throat> you know, Nat is out of his mind right now. Whatever thing that woman is giving to him is making him lose his mind. And the only thing I can tell you now is to move on with your life. Just move on with your life. It's very simple. <sighs> Yeah, that's the right and natural thing to do. But it is not easy. And I'm not the kind of girl that can just move on like that. That's the point. I'm a fighter. <laughs> I cannot feel less of myself. Okay. Okay. But you know you're beautiful. That guy does not deserve you. We have 1,001 million people out there, guys that are willing to do anything to have you. I mean, rich guys, respectful guys, 
Well to do guys. Come on, grow up, man. And is any of their names not? <laughs> there you go again. That's it. There can only be one nut who can break my heart the way that he has done. Only one nut who can make me feel stupid about myself. Only one nut who can leave me for an older woman. But yet, I still feel there is some kind. There's just a part of me that is left inside of him. Divi, can you listen to my advice? Nat does not deserve you. Just move on with your life. Just move on. Do you understand that? That's all you would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the wrong okay. cannot make a right. Hmm. Let your conscience be a guide. When doing wrong and doing right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lad, the bad boy. Mama's boy. What she talking about? Yeah, she's talking about her money. What she wants you to give her all the money she has been giving to you. Is she crazy? She What's wrong with her? I'm not owing her. She said she has been giving you part of her salary every month for your upkeep. And I've been sleeping with her. Are you serious right now? Yes. So what do you mean? She did not pay me for service rendered. Hmm. I mean, I don't know when you start being crazy. I don't know when you start going out of your senses, Nat. I mean, when do you start being a prostitute? Man, I don't know. Whatever name you want to call me, call me. But I realized that I've been wasting my talents with that girl. <laughs> Not wow. until I met Meg. See, that woman pays me per round. Okay, so what do you expect? What do you expect for an old woman that is enough to be your mother? She is sweet. That's, huh? that, that's what I'm telling you. Nat, are you serious right now? I it's mean, you have money now. Just give her a letter from what you have. Pay her some money. I am not owing that girl. Okay. Hmm. Whatever gifts she gave me were all gifts of love. And you don't return such gifts. You see, Nat, at this point, you don't have to be stubborn. I mean, you have to give that girl her money. Because if the girl lay calls on you, believe me, it will work. It will work on your head. It will work on your head. It will work on your head. You have to pay her. What cost? I mean, man up, man. Come on. That's how no game out. If uh, she costs me, I'll cost her. Forget about that. You are owing her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the wrong cannot make a right. Let your conscience be a guide. When doing yeah. your smiles. The way you look at me. The way you, you know, take care of me. Not what has come for you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to express how how happy I am over you, you know. I'm glad. Thank you for coming to my life. Oh. Yeah. Just, just get us here. Just get us here. How much girl are you talking about? My ex-girlfriend. Oh, what does she want? I don't know. It gives me joy. You know, your smiles, the way you look at me, the way you you know, take care of me. Not what has come for you. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to express how how happy I am over you. You know, I'm glad. Thank you for coming to my life. Oh. Just, just get us here. Just get us here. How much girl are you talking about? I'm glad you. what you want? I want to speak with you. All right. Go on. Some privacy will do. Excuse you? I'm not. Not as me. So whatever I hear, he hears. Uh, mm, yes. I know, but I want to speak with you alone. All right. I'll be with you shortly. Sweetheart. When I ask, let me go see you. I, I, I don't want to go, please. I, I just, it's not safe. Not safe? What can she do? I mean, she's alone, so... Relax. Yeah. 
coffee. I'll be right back. Are you sure you want to do this? Come on, relax, sweetheart. Maybe. I'll be back. Hmm? Huh? Excuse me. my boyfriend back and even if I can't have him back I want you to let him off your hook you're barely just exploiting his naiveness and poverty and tell me you spent your time investigating where I hang out with my boy just so you could come one meter stay the hell away from him is that it I had him before you, and I'm very certain that you do not share what I and Nat share. You're barely exploiting his naiveness and poverty. I don't care what you say. All I know is that Nat is my boyfriend. I love him, and I'm certain he loves me back. Of course, if he didn't love me, he wouldn't have beaten you up just because you called me on the phone and he dumped your ass because you refused to apologize. Mac, I am not here to argue with you. I came here to speak to your conscience. Nat and I, we have come a long way and I do not know if I'm going to ever love another man the way I have come to love Nat. And yes, you might consider me naive, but I am not. I just, I just love differently. You love differently? To the extent you don't even know when a man cares for you. Oh no, I know when a man is torn between the laughs and money of an old woman and in the heart of a young woman that he truly loves. Well, well, sweetheart, you might call me old. But I certainly know how to love. And I know how to care about men. It's quite unfortunate it didn't work out for the one who got married to me. I'm glad I've gotten the man that is suitable for me, Nat. And that man imprisoned the heart of another woman. I and Nat planned so many things together. I let Nat into my innermost secret. And because you came along, I need to change course. I need to plan a new, I need to build a new life. I do not know what you want, young lady. But believe me when I tell you this. I should think you're rather lucky to have discovered for yourself on time that your man doesn't love you enough. While you both are yet to be entangled with a chain of marriage and while you are still young, to find yourself a new course, to get a man who truly loves you for who you are. You know, you make it look so easy, but it is not. I could have been happy if Nat and I had mutually agreed to part ways, but no, it feels so different when another woman pushes me away from the man that I have given my all to. Well, I'm sorry for your last, but believe me, it's none of my business. I mean, it's not my fault that he chose me over you. <laughs> he is an adult. He knows what he wants. So deal with it. <laughs> Mark, I promise you this day that I am going to exact my revenge on you, however long it takes. Alright. <laughs> mm, okay. So, that evening, 
I began to plan for this day. You told me that I was naive, but I was just a young woman who had the right understanding of love and a proud woman whose self-esteem was hot because a woman who is old enough to be my mother snatched my worthless boyfriend away from me. Wait, wait, wait. So, all this time, I have been nothing but a pawn in your game of vengeance against Mag? Surprising, isn't it? <laughs> now that you've got your pound of flesh, what next? Maybe you do not know that you have fallen foul of the law by gallivant and everywhere with apparently an unlicensed gun. That alone is enough for me to put you behind bars. <laughs> Not yet. Have you read in a good book that you don't give holy things to pigs? Mm. I think I understand the verse better now. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Nat, I hold nothing against you, and I want nothing from you. But I am going to make sure I get even with the woman that took you away from me. <laughs> Very funny. What are you going to do to her? I am going to do to her exactly what she did to me. <laughs> are you going to sleep with someone, husband? Come on. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to think you're hallucinating. Look, that man is old. Okay? And I know he's not your taste. So why waste your time? <laughs> you know people as much as they want you to know them. Mm. We shall see. Oh, really? We shall see. You want to sleep with someone's husband? We shall see! Life with this. For the past 20 years, why I did this house. Now the same work now they do. No, they no add money on top of my salary, they no promote me. I wish kind of life with this. And mommy, they walk past for this house. Husband, I no get picking, <laughs> I no kukuma born. Small side collect where everybody they collect. Or God no they look my side. Before you know, you go they carry all those small small guests. Come, come, they knock them for house. Which kind of life with this? Upon all this thing, why I carry? Oh, God, no, they even, God, no, they even look me. Which kind of life be this? So to be say some people, they, they see him. Oh, God, no, see him. Me, I don't tire. I don't tire for this kind of life. I don't tire. I don't tire. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't tire. Baby, you need to devote all your time in developing yourself and building a career. Then thinking on how to get back at an irresponsible Boy, who does not even deserve you in the first place? Linda, you don't get it. It's not about Nat. Then it's about what? He's about me as a woman. My pride. He made me feel so stupid, used and worthless. But you're not any of those. I have a responsibility to prove it. Especially to her. Yes, her. Her. Yes, Mag. Somehow, I just want to give her her own taste of her medicine. Divi, you need to stop. Stop it. It is not worth it. 
Oh, it will be worth it at the end. You humans are forgetting to understand that we are created differently. And I, DV, oh, I hate to lose. TV, you haven't lost anything. You are young, brilliant, and beautiful, with lots of prospects ahead of you. Linda, I want to join the military. Military? Why are you changing career course? Because I've realized that everything that I have planned and done has been all about not. Now I want to take a different course from everything that we've planned together. And that is why you want to join the military? Yes. You know, I felt so bad that I couldn't slap Nat or Mag when they both ridiculed me. So somehow, joining the, the military is going to make me gain back my self-confidence. Divi, I hope you're not being quixotic. No. I'm only taking a different part that is not only going to make me heal, but also make me feel better. Yes. Well, I wish you all the best. And I'm here to help you in whatever way I can. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> See what she did to this man. <laughs> I was like, this is what saves me in right. Exactly. Please, she starts gaming up, please. Hmm. But Divi, I am so happy for her. Yeah. And this, she's living her dreams now. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing, she's over that pest of a guy. At least now she's building a career for herself. And that's the most important wow. thing. Wow, wow. So if she comes back from that training now, she'll become a special detective. Secret agent. She has always been one. <laughs> Isn't that how she found out about that old woman that snatched her ex-boyfriend? Yeah, I noticed she's caught up for those kind of things. And I'm certainly sure she's going to do well, trust me. She will do well. <sighs> Detective TV. Yes, so. And you know, with her height. Ah! Suit her. That sounds good. Check out the style. What do you think? For the wedding, have you? Yeah. Rash baby. Mm -hmm. Wow, At least. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me his contact, please. Hi, better. <laughs> Why don't you come in? Let me better your life. You know, <laughs> you don't need to walk under the sun. <laughs> Nat, hmm? aren't you ashamed of yourself? Showing off with a car, but for you with another man's money. Mm, don't be silly, come on. Don't, don't, don't think like a poor girl that you are. <laughs> come here, let me drop You're you. You're the one that is poor. Oh. Yes. Okay. Listen, don't try to make a mess of yourself before me again. Okay? I am not interested. You're hungry. <laughs> you are sick. You're hungry. Come here, let me let me give you free food. Get out! Dry nyash. Come on, get out of here. It's not dry. Babe, what does that one want again this time? That idiot. That he wants to better my life. <laughs> Wait, because he got him a car that he's going to start using for cab service the moment they dump his foolish no, ass. He has made himself a sex toy to an, to an old woman old enough to be his mother. You know what, this guy should just yeah, go get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like you. To run cannot make a ride. Let your conscience be a guide when doing wrong. Yeah. <laughs> DV, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. You're a nice secret agent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> interesting, isn't it? Quite interesting. <laughs> Who would have known that you'd take such a path? I mean, <laughs> you know, when life gives you lemon. You make lemonade. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. I'm happy for you, my dear. I'm happy Thank for you. Thank you. Wow. Um, Jude. Okay. There is something I want you to do for me again. <laughs> okay. 
as long as something that I can do, consider it done. Good. I want you to get me information about her husband. I want to know where he hangs out, what time he hangs out, every little details you can get about him for me. David, I would have advised you to let the sleeping dog lie. I mean... <sighs> Jude, the dog is not sleeping. <laughs> Just get me the information that I need and I will pay you for it. Okay, if that will make you happy, consider it done. Oh, thank you. Um, I will make you the transfer now. But then, you have to assure me one thing. That you are not going to harm that innocent young man. Oh, come on, Jude. You should trust me more than that. Okay. Then, I will do that for you. Oh. Thank you. Jude, Jude! You're such a darling. Oh, wow. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you. You've been a while. Wow, I'm so happy. So yeah, happy to be here. Yeah. You're not a man. You're just some ugly creature with a phallus. Yes, you threw your wife to a useless brandy dog. So you shouldn't complain. So, you're taking sides with her now? I do not take sides with anyone. I take sides with the truth. You threw your wife into the cold and expect her not to be frozen? But you cost it. I cost it? I have barely known you for one year. For years, you have put this woman through pains of rejection. You are certainly a wicked person. Divi, you will not understand. You won't. There is nothing to understand, Mr. Onogo. You threw her into the cold. So you should have let her be without caring about what she did. Or taking her in and made her feel warm. You are nothing but a coward. A cold-blooded narcissist. For five whole years, I worked to exact my revenge on you. But... Right now, I... I sympathize with you. Not... Not made me... I feel whole again. Not make me feel less than a woman. You've always been whole. Believe me, you are a wonderful, hard working young lady. I tell you this my daughter will make you her role model. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. And I have been the one sending you messages about your husband's escapades. What? I I want you to come into my life and <laughs> Take me forever. <laughs> you know, I uh, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. You're not serious, this guy. You're not serious. I don't even know your name, and you don't know me. Yet you want to settle down with me? Like, are you for real? I I. Uh, I don't need to know you. I don't need to know you. Look, my life is in a mess and I want you to come into my life and, you know, I meant my life. Please. Sorry, where is it written that? Do I, does, do I look like a... I don't get it. Like, do I look like a, a, a mess packer or what? 
You, you can be a mess packer. Who told you I'm a mess packer? Like, what's it written? I'm a mess packer. I want to know. Hey, but, 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 but you can. Please shift. You, you can be a mess packer and pack my life, you know. <laughs> Let's pack it together. <laughs> you, 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 Take, take your hands off me. <laughs> oh, this kid is sweet too. <laughs> if you can just come and, and pack my life and I'll mess her up, <laughs> it will be fine. beginning to think that I rather should be the one that should be grateful because if you haven't met Nat I should have been ending off with someone so irresponsible like him there's something I want you to understand in life everything that happens happens for a reason <sighs> you're actually right so what are you going to do now? What am I going to do now? What will I do? <laughs> well, I'm going to devote more time to my kids. Hmm. I'll make sure I raise them well to become, you know, responsible parents. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a very great commitment to make. And um, I trust you do well. Sure. But what about Nat? What's going to happen to him now? How will I know? I mean, I, I wouldn't know, but I'm sure he was able to save enough, you know, when we get <sighs> it. I gave him enough money, so he should try to make out something <laughs> meaningful with his life. <laughs> I already told him it's over between us. Wow. And one good thing with me is once I take a decision, I stand by it. I'm so happy for you. And I'm very proud of you. I wish you well. Oh, thank you <laughs> Come so here. much. Come, baby. Oh. Oh. And one more thing. Tell me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. You take care. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. I mean, I found myself all over again just because of you. So I all look forward to you. Bye. Oh, come on. <laughs> My friends. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm
yourself but in actual fact you're destroying yourself Margaret has destroyed me I mean how can I how can I continue to live with the knowledge my wife is cheating on me, dating a young boy with my money, with my car, with my everything. That you, Olivia? Yes, Dad. Please come, 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 my daughter. Come. Oh, Dad, you wake up alcohol just like I do. Ugh. Sit down, sit down. Oh. <clears throat> ah. Hmm. Are you fine? You reek of alcohol too. Dad, are you really fine? Well, I thought I wasn't fine, but now I know that I am totally lost. I mean, Olivia, what has come over you? Eh? What has come over you, Olivia? Okay. Patricia, look at my daughter. She's lost to the world. I mean, she's reeking of alcohol and so many other concoctions. Dad, that's life, okay? Mm, that's life, it's so happiness where I could get it. Happiness? Mm. Where you could get it? Mm. Olivia, you break my heart into so many pieces. Yeah. You break my heart. Okay. That's why they talk. Now, Grandma, you they speak. Oh. Where you are, Madame, they busy. Now they jump up and down. They do jangolova everywhere. What do I expect? Now, so, so all my children now don't run at all. As soon as they're busy, they do competition. Who cheat, who no cheat, pass. See now. Uh, junior, that one now don't go join Curtis. He they smoke Ibo up and down. Belinda, he don't go join those people. Where they do wayo wayo, say that they do church. They no kukuma no God. They just they brainwash people, they collect their money. Okay, see Olivia now. Olivia don't turn to Ross girl. Mm. See him out, just they smear everywhere. Oh God, this is where happened. Now you and Madame Kosango. Oh, no I am sorry, my daughter. I brought all these things upon you and your siblings. It's fine. Patricia. Okay. 
Is there anything you think I can do to remedy this situation? That one me, I don't know. I know be God. They said to spoil things, they day easy. To repair them, now in the heart. Don't tell me I know be say make we start to do prayer. Come add our small fasting join. Maybe God go hear us. Me, I don't know. Oh yeah, come they go your room. Unongo. Margaret. Here. That's the deposit notice. I mean, I can't stand the fact that you that you know I've been cheating on you all this year. Even though it's not my fault. It's your fault. I want a divorce. <sighs> Margaret, our family is crumbling. <sighs> our daughter Olivia is now a Ron's girl. Our son, Junior, is a courtist. And as for our daughter, Brenda, she has already been taken by all those mushroom and fraudulent business centers who call themselves churches. And we are to blame. Oh no, you are to blame. to you. I was more than the word loyal to you, but what did I get in return? You cheated on me. <sighs> Margaret, that was in the past. All right? Can we at least pretend to be married and rescue our children. We brought them into this world without their consent. We cannot continue pursuing our individual indulgences while our family crumbles and perishes and our children's futures are destroyed. Margaret, listen, Margaret, please, Margaret, Margaret, for the sake of the children, Please forgive me too.
too wrong cannot make a right Let your conscience be your guide When doing wrong, yeah, doing right Yeah, yeah, yeah When everybody has a own flaw I can't stop you from doing the right thing I'm doing the right